Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm John from Incantation, and we're on tour now with Dark Funeral, uh, Belfagor, Hate, um, Nightmare, Nightmare, Bill Nath. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and um, you're gonna be checking out our tour vehicle. Sunny, Sunny, she definitely usually watches something. So we were watching music videos last night until like. Four yeah, and Sunny usually watches some kind of. Uh, we were watching Rocky, uh, all all of them, but out of order on TV. Planet and, of uh, the Apes out of order. Yeah, out of, <laughs> Planet of the Apes out of order. Um, yeah, you know, a bunch of um, bunch of just old school action movies or just whatever's on TV. You know, Sunny usually watches that all those older things, you know, he's our guitar player, um, so, yeah, that's usually what's on, but last night, there was metal music videos, uh, I think, I think we had, um, VH1 Classic or something like that, and I know that metal show was on when I went to sleep, and they were, I woke up a couple of times, and then they were rocking out to, you know, I don't know, whatever, whatever poser thing from the 80s, you know? <laughs> So the Polish boys are big snackers, so they, they drink so much milk, they go through like a, a gallon of milk a day. I don't know how they do that. And yeah, then, I think, yeah, I think they, um, they have cereal and then they have like protein these protein shakes. shakes and <laughs> they're always carrying milk out of truck stops, you know, trying to... <laughs> Gallons of milk at a yeah. time. And then I have to have fruit. The fruit's mine. If I don't have fruit on tour, I'll die. So. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, nothing too special, just stuff to heat up in the microwave and stuff. And if you were here yesterday, there would have been more pizza boxes. We were collecting them for a while. They were touching the ceiling. Yes, but I, I got rid of them. I, I should have kept them for the video. It would have been, would have been much more metal, you know? <laughs> Dry foods and assorted crap. Nothing really too... Uh, Water for the coffee machine. Yeah. Which is it's a it's a tour new. tip. If you ever get a coffee machine, tape it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it was actually um, the other band that's in the bus too with us. Uh, Hate. They're the ones that got the coffee machine, and they taped it down immediately. So they obviously have some tour experience. I knew off the bat when they taped down the coffee machine, they they knew what was up. It'd be okay. We we have. I mean, I have my shower stuff. I think there might be. No, that was just some that's stage gear. You know, that probably probably hates. Um, one of these, oh, this is a lot of just stuff. I don't know what who the hell's had is. I'm happy it's closed. Um, yeah, here's here's some uh, weightlifting stuff, you know, to do exercising or whatever. The um, Luke and um, Dominic. yeah, Dominic both work out every day, you know, so they use that stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's anything too exciting in any of these. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Earplugs. Not yeah, nothing too exciting. <laughs> yeah, just the jacket. Yeah, some cleaning supplies. So that looks like some beef jerky and yeah, it's just normal bullshit. Nothing too exciting, you know. Well, there's a yeah, there's um, nine of us in this, so it's a lot of people in here, you know. So basically, it's usually. Um, I don't know, the hate guys are usually hanging out in the seats or whatever. Um, Sonny sometimes will be hanging out, our guitar player, or Luke, uh, our bass player on tour. Um, usually um, Megan will first throw over there, she'll do the um, merch count stuff, she's our merch girl for the tour. Um, and uh, after that she usually will hang out with the hate guys or whoever's left uh, standing and drink into oblivion until she goes to sleep. Not until oblivion, usually it's a few <laughs> beers. <laughs> and, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm, since I'm the um, the senior of the tour, I usually just say fuck it and go to my bunk and let everybody, you know, party and stuff like that. But, um, you know, because there's so many freaking people in a small area, I just say fuck it and just try to rest up instead of um, you know, try to squeeze in, um, you know, three people in each seat is, is kind of enough, you know? You don't need to make it too comfy for, you know, or too uncomfortable for everybody, so. Yeah, it's pretty easy, though. But um, we're not total party animals besides Megan. Um, <laughs> That's not true at all. Everyone was drunk last night. <laughs> but usually, usually, um, yeah, 
usually actually uh, don't drink too much, but we played the riot room last night, and everyone uh, partook in their alcohol that was there. So by the time they got on the bus, everybody was a little juice. That's why it was a little bit tough to get everybody out of here in the morning, because we think we were so little hungover, you know. And um, yeah, this this is uh, hates three bunks here. Um, they're kind of cool. I like these leather curtains. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Curtains. They're kind of kind of cool. They actually do a pretty good job of um, you know keeping out the noise and stuff like that. When people are partying. You know. Uh, you want to talk about your bunk? This is my bunk. <laughs> so I collect shirts on every tour, and then ones that don't fit me, I just sew into a quilt. So I bring it to, with me on like every tour. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm in this bottom one here. It's not nothing too exciting, really. I mean, I have basically my computer set up over there, charging. I have just my daily uh, bags and my jacket and stuff I need. Um, got my back pillow because my lower back kills me after years of touring. Then I just a little plug and some other stuff in the back there for cell phones and power packs and stuff. But um, I mean, it, it's definitely. Um, a lot more comfortable in driving in a van, so definitely um, happy with it. This is Luke's bunk over here, our, our uh, guitar player. This is like, um, and then we got um, hey. uh, yeah, hey, and uh, this is our our drummer um, Charles. And this one, it's Sunny, our guitar players, and that one. So we just have just enough for everybody. And then in the front, there in the cab, there's a driver's bunk for the driver and stuff. So. Everybody, everybody has a bunk, you know, and, um, you know, if everybody gets some sleep, it makes for a better tour, people aren't so grumpy, and, um, you know, we're able to play a better show and have a good time, you know, because some, sometimes when the budget's a little tighter or more difficult times, you have to tour in a, a van and trailer, and that gets pretty brutal, uh, especially with these long rides, it would be impossible for us to get any sleep at all, we'd probably just be, um, on Blabbermouth as being dead or something like that with these rides, you know? And prob probably one of the most important um, areas of the bus is the shitter or pisser. Um, it, it's um, basically just a very simple pisser, but it's definitely really awesome to have it instead of trying to bug the driver to stop all the time and have to piss and stuff. So it's definitely a, uh, a plus. And then we have a shower here too, which is kind of a nice added bonus. Yeah, it's basically, it's really cool because at least we get to do all the simple things like yeah, brush our teeth or wash your hands or just whatever stuff we need to do. Uh, we have our own little space back here. It's actually very, um, you know, nice to have this, you know, because you don't always think, of, it's not the first thing you think about, but then after you wake up in the morning and you feel like shit, you know, you realize, oh, it's nice to not have to go into the club and use their, uh, usually they're nice dirty bathroom. This place actually is a pretty nice bathroom, but most places we go to it's more like, you know, go, you know, it's graffiti everywhere and at least we have a nice um, a nice place to freshen up here, you know. Even cool. though we're death metal, we like to freshen up. If you want to check us out, you can look us up on Facebook or Instagram at Incantation. I think it's Incantation Official or Incantation, you can find it. And um, we have a website, uh, simply www.incantation.com, pretty simple. And um, yeah, we, we are still touring for a Profane Nexus album. Um, it's pretty much going to be our last tour for the album because it's been out now for about a year, year almost two years now. But things has been going so good that we just keep touring for it. We're like, screw it, you know, let's just keep playing some metal. Um, besides that, um, just look out. We're do actually doing a um, 30th year anniversary release. Um, that's gonna hopefully it's gonna be out by the end of the year, which is gonna include a bunch of rare discography stuff and um, a couple new songs on it. Um, you know, so that that'll be fun. And we're also working on a new album on top of that. So we're busy as fuck when we're not touring. We go right into the studio and um, you know start recording. Uh, guitar tracks and stuff like that, so yeah, fucking metal. <laughs>